Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. So today's video is going to be a back to school grocery haul. As you guys can see behind me, I got all the food laid out, ready to show you guys. But tomorrow is the kids' first day of school. I wanted to stock up on all of their favorite foods, food for their lunches this week, as well as dinner meals this week. So it's gonna be a combination of all of that, but primarily a lot of this food is going to be things that I got for the kids this week for their lunches. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so you guys might hear some noises in the background. One might be Scarlett's iPad, and the second is probably going to be the dishwasher. No! But, or Scarlett screaming. <laughs> but I got everything laid out, super organized this time, you guys. I was not messing around with organizing all the food. So I have fruits and veggies over here, cheese, yogurts, then it goes into meats and miscellaneous bread and snacks. Um, but starting over here, I wanted to stock up on a lot of fruits and veggies for the kids' lunches and on the, also our lunches during the week as well. Like I said, it's like a combination of different things. But we have some green grapes over here. This is Harlow's personal favorite, so I'll definitely be packing some of those in her lunch. Bananas, all of our berries. We have some raspberries blueberries, strawberries. These are definitely a staple in the kids' lunches because they love, well, minus Nolan, he's a little bit more iffy about fruits. But when it comes to Harlow and Aria, they're all about the fruits. So plenty of berries, some grape tomatoes. This is actually going to be for one of our dinner meals this week. So we have broths and hot dogs with air fried sweet potatoes as a side, and then a three cheese spaghetti, creamy spaghetti, I think that's what it's called and then beef and broccoli with rice. And the fourth one is pesto chicken with roasted tomatoes, which you guys know that's one of our favorite meals. I think there's a recipe on our channel somewhere of it, but that is what that's for. And then I got some broccoli, one to roast, I think as a side to go with the spaghetti. And then also another one for the beef and broccoli, asparagus. I think I got that as a side for the pesto chicken parsley that goes as a garnish for the spaghetti then i have a whole bunch of fruits and veggies right here I have some peaches aria loves peaches i want to stock up on some apples the kids love these with peanut butter i will have to find out if they can have peanut butter i think now that they're in the cafeteria they can because they're not having lunch because of covid anymore in the classroom so i think we can do that but regardless i got them some apples and some mandarins or tangerines I can't remember which one these are. Mandarin, some mandarin oranges. Actually, Harlow really likes these. Some celery, I'm actually going to cut this up and prep it and put it in a container. That way, I can just take it out easily to put in their lunches. I eat celery sticks a lot with my hummus, and Aria likes hummus, but I don't think she likes celery or she hasn't tried it yet, so I'm gonna cross my fingers and see if I can get her to eat some of that. And then some limes over here, a couple avocados, uh, sweet potatoes. I don't know if I've ever showed you guys my air fried sweet potato recipe with cinnamon. I'm gonna have to show you guys sometime because it's so good and a lot of the kids really, really like it. And then I have a few bell peppers right here. Like the channel. Like the channel. <laughs> Scarlett just came up here and she said, like the channel. That was so cute. Um, and then we got some yogurts back here. These are also really great for lunches because I can just throw it into their lunch boxes. So we have these pouches, and then I think the reason I got these, oh, the tubes, is because they were on sale. Um, but I did get a couple boxes of the pouches. Like I said, these are perfect. You can actually, it says right here, frozen, and then you can thaw it by lunch. But since the kids' lunch boxes are insulated, I always put an ice pack. They're always still cold anyways, but that is another option you can do with those. And then I do have a couple of cheese, well, some whipped cream cheese over here, shredded Parmesan, that's gonna go with that three cheese pasta. Actually, I think the third cheese I'm, I was supposed to get is Romano, is that how you say it? I'm hopefully I'm saying that correctly. But instead, I just got two extra things of mozzarella, so it's gonna actually be a two cheese. One of these is for the pesto chicken, and then one is gonna be for that pasta, but it also called for shredded Parmesan. And then I got myself some organic tofu for my lunches. I will saute these in a pan, or you can even, I think, maybe even put them in the air fryer, but I like to have this with stir fry, and I just do it all in one pan with a little soy sauce or teriyaki sauce, whatever you wanna do. So I got two, it's like two little individual packs for that. And then some hot dogs. I think I said we're having hot dogs and brats, 
for dinner one meal. So uh, I also have those right there. Some roasted, honey roasted turkey breast for the kids' lunches, as well as these little baby bell cheeses. Again, the kids love these. Harlow really, really likes these too. And as you can see, Scarlett has already got into it and she was having one as a snack as well. So I got two packs of those. Pepperoni, also for the kids' lunches so they can even make their own Lunchables. I did get one per Aria's request, but a lot of times I'll just put this in here with some cheese. I don't even know if I showed you guys this, but some Colby Jack cheese and I'll cut it up to like the size of little Lunchables, put some Ritz crackers in there and then they can make their own sandwiches. And also, I forgot to show you guys, they have some string cheese under here. Another great option to just throw into the lunch boxes. I did get a big tub of the Stony Phil organic probiotic yogurt because a lot of times the kids will like this as a side for their dinner and I'll put some fruit with it. So you guys can tell the kids really, really, really like yogurt. And then I got my favorite creamer, the Califia Farms Almond, Mar Almond Milk Creamer. I always get the unsweetened kind. It has zero grams of sugar. And then a gallon of milk. This is purely Fletcher's. He really only, sometimes the kids when they have their cereal, sometimes they'll have whole milk, but this is primarily Fletcher's. This is also for that spaghetti meal. I'm actually making it for the first time, so I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out. I might do a recipe video for this week. Let me know if you guys would like to see that in the comments down below, but I got that for that recipe. Two bags of the Ben's Original Ready Rice Basmati. Actually, the kids aren't rice fans, but they really, really like this one for some reason. So that's gonna be for the beef and broccoli, which speaking of which, I got the steak for it right here. That is for that meal. Brats and hot dogs is one meal, and then chicken breast under there for the pesto chicken. And then I've never bought these before, but I thought these might be like a good after school snack. So they're called the Sargento Balance Breaks and they have so many different kinds and varieties. This one is cheese and crackers. So I'm curious to see if they will like these. It also has eight grams of protein in them, but some of them have nuts. Some of them I think have even meat, but this is the one that I went with that has the wheat thins with it. I already showed you guys Lunchables. I also got some classic hummus. Like I said, Aria really liked hummus. Um, I did get her some non bread with it as well, but I'm also gonna put in some celery and carrot sticks and see if she'll like the hummus with that. Um, I got a carton of eggs, spaghetti for that meal that I was telling you guys about. And then I got Fletcher some of these organic sunny day snack bars by Earth's Best, the apple flavor. So I'm gonna see if he'll like these. And Aria requested some Nutella. Got some Nutella for her. Beef broth, that is for the beef and broccoli. Pick myself up a new sea salt grinder. I just ran out of the other one. Uh, peanut butter, stir fry mix. Like I was telling you guys, I like to put some tofu with this with some soy sauce or stir fry sauce in a pan. And then some Texas toast to go with the spaghetti. And then I got these primarily for Aria in the mornings. You guys know she really likes these Jimmy Dean breakfast bowls, the biscuit and sausage gravy. So I got her two of those. I have a ton of bread. Now that we're gonna be making more sandwiches and everything. So I think Frank got himself the Sarah Lee bread for sandwiches for himself. And then Nolan and I really like these English muffins with some peanut butter and I like mine with some banana. So I got those for us. Carlo loves bagels and cream cheese. Like that is her everyday breakfast food that she requests. So I always get her her blueberry bagels. And then of course hot dogs to go with our brats and hot dogs, the sweet Hawaiian rolls for sandwiches for the kids, for their lunches. Here's the non bread, mini non bread that I got for Aria or I'm gonna even see, I know Nolan will not touch the hummus, but I'm gonna see if Harlow will. So I might pack her some as well. And then I also got these jumbo muffins for breakfast <laughs> since their Muffin. school, first day of school is tomorrow. So they really, really enjoy these. So I got those for everybody. And then some baby goldfish, I got two of those. Nolan loves his Cheez-Its. He has them all the time for a snack. So I will also be adding these in his lunches. So I got a family yeah, size of that. You like cheesies? Scarlett calls them cheesies. Some applesauce pouches. This one yeah, has baby. five classic, which I think is just apple, and then five big raspberries. So these are like the bigger squeezies compared to the smaller <laughs> ones. And the kids love their applesauce pouches. So no, I think they'll this. really like these. You got that. I did get that. What is that? 
Do you know what that is? That's dish soap to clean all of our dishes. Yeah. Just ran out of this yesterday, so need to get some more Z bars. Scarlett loves Z bars, don't you? She loves the chocolate. The chocolate chip one is her favorite. They were out of it, so we got the chocolate brownie instead. Is that one good too? Yeah, we and got this. We go on this patty. Huh? We come on we did get a lot of mac and cheese. We got three boxes of mac and cheese back there. Um, Frank got this party pack assorted crackers. It'd be good to go into the kids' lunches as well. So there's toasted sesame. Yes, some more muffins. Harvest wheat and butter crisp. And then some veggie straws back here. A family fun mix, 18 bags of chips. I think there's sour cream and onion. Uh, the Fritos, Honey Barbecue, Funyuns. Aria really loves the Funyuns. Uh, you like them too? Yeah. And Cheddar and sour and cream Harlow. and Harlow. And then Cheetos, we got the crunchy Cheetos and then the yeah, puff Cheetos. I love that one. Like Scarlett pointed out, we got another box of muffins. The last thing I got are these Oreo yeah, minis so. to go into the kids' lunches yeah, as you treats. Want more milk. More milk for who? Peggy. Does Petchy like his milk? Yeah, I love milk too. You love milk too? <laughs> I you, just drink it all. I know what you like. Orange um, juice. Do you love orange juice? Yes. And some lemonade. Lemonade. I'll get it next time, okay? Okay. Sound good? Yeah, you got this and that and that. Yes, I did. And I think I showed everything. I think I got everything. I hope I did. But this is everything for the kids back to school next week. Got to get the lunches going again. I got to say, who's excited for their kids to get back to school? Yes, let us know. <laughs> let us know down below. But I am so relieved. Stressing out about everything, you guys. I'm stressing out about making sure all their clothes was washed, all their new clothes, making sure they had food for their lunches, getting all their stuff together, everything. So this is the last thing. Oh, 100%. And this was the last thing on my to-do list for all the back to school stuff. I think I decided I'm going to do a kids lunch idea video this week for their back to school to share some ideas with you guys and also what's for dinner this week. So let me know in the comments down below, but that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys in our next one. You wanna say bye, Scarlett? Bye.